It's time now for the PD Channel News Noon Report for this Monday, September 1st, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. That is what's happening here at the noontime hour. Here, the number of Americans who have joined the Islamic State is unclear. The figure cited Sunday by Representative Mike Rogers might be high. Some groups say, but there is legitimate concerns about the issues. And that's rounds out the top stories on the PD Channel News as politicians and pundits on the right initially rallied around the idea that the U.S. needs to be more aggressive in military in Iraq and Syria to defeat the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Which is weakened after the very abundant wake of President Obama's remark last week with We Don't Have a Strategy Yet. There's a new twist, some with Republican ties that suggest a deliberate approach to form an ISIS strategy. They had the Israeli security agent Shinbet met with Palestinian of 40 d President Mahomet Abedis in Ramallah last month to update him on the arrest of Hamas operatives who have planned to topple his government at court in Israeli radio. London. British Prime Minister David Cameron said today that he would bring in new laws to give police the power to seize passports of suspected Iraq and Syria banned Islamist fighters. Ukrainian forces have suffered a series of setbacks as pro Russian rebels advance in the east of their country. Officials said nearly 700 soldiers have been taken prisoners since the rebel offensive began. In the car, doctors and nurses finding their world's biggest outbreak of Ebola virus in West Africa should get sentenced including better pay, insurance, and access to the new Ebola drug ZMAP. An international health expert said. For anyone who's In Islamabad, anti-government protesters stormed Pakistani state television building on Monday, forcing a channel briefly off the air as they clashed with police and pushed closer to the Prime Minister's residence. Army personnel man outside the military headquarters in Messer on Sunday as lists for Prime Minister requests Afghan peacekeepers. Thousands of Hong Kong citizens are expected to come in and wait to the state protest after China and Nancy would screen the nominees for Hong Kong's chief executive. The parents of a child suffer from a severe brain tumor sick Monday that they would defy efforts to force them to return to Britain days after the family fled to seek a novel kind of radiation treatment for the five-year-old boy. German Chancellor Angela Merkel speaks with Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier during a series of Parliament. A federal judge has temporarily blocked enforcement of Louisiana's new abortion law, but lawyers disagree about whether his order covers doctors at all. Five of the state's clinics, only two doctors and three clinics. New York City Mayor pledged to save West Indian Day Parade after. Somebody opened fire at the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn today. In Atlantic City, Cash Bushers and Ann and the Kazakas poked around the gambling floor at the Showboat Casino last week, looking for the last bits of luck among the penny slots as the Showboat Casino along with other casinos on Atlantic City will be closing as an auspicious time in Atlantic City's boards for Massachusetts casino supporters. Calf prone Texas Governor Rick Perry made a social media fox pass Sunday night after an image appeared on his Twitter account and stolen memory of the Democratic District Attorney at the center of his diamond 